Ladies and gentlemen, it's Hot Legs, straight from the Wine Exchange, with wine expert Kyle Meyer. All right, here's a real shocker. The next wine I'm really tickled pink about because uh, Cabernet really doesn't come up a lot in conversations with Australian wine. People think, you know, Shiraz and, and some of the famous fortified wines, etc. But the fact of the matter is this wine blew me away today. And it's one of the best Cabernets I've tasted uh, from Australia. That's, I'm not uh, pulling your leg. Uh, in the last, you know, five, ten years. I mean, really spectacular wine from the Barossa. Tell me just a little bit about the Boundaries here because it's such an amazing wine. Um, it's called Boundaries because it comes from two vineyards on the boundary of our of our property um, and where the boundaries are they're sort of fur the furthest area the furthest boundaries away from the hills so the sands a lot deeper mm. and the Cabernet is very very vigorous uh, so the fruit gets there's a lot of foliage so the fruit gets shielded from the from the sun which preserves a varietal character, which is really hard to do in the Barossa. Um, and we still get the, the, the amazing ripeness and richness, generosity in the wine from beautiful Barossa sunshine. It's great you say that, because uh, the, the problem I've had with a lot of Barossa Cabernet is that it tastes more like Barossa than Cabernet. Yeah. And yours tastes like Cabernet, yeah, which sure. is... Well, you know, you can't treat it like Shiraz. Cabernet, Cabernet as soon as Cabernet sort of gets gets too warm or gets sunlight on it, um, you lose all those the, the, those beautiful crushed leaf and and varietal character that's in the wine. So mm -hmm. this this we managed to preserve it, and I, I I love it. I rate this as as one of the best wines. Actually, in the newsletter for the last couple of years, I've been saying it's the best wine I've I've ever ever made. So, um, but then. Of course, so fives come along, and, and there's yeah, some pretty yeah, good ones seriously. coming up as well. So, lousy global warming. <laughs> I've learnt I've learnt to be careful about saying things like this is the best wine I've ever made because uh, starts yeah. sounding old after a while. <laughs> it does. Well, you know. Well, you know, the, the, our vineyard used to be um, machine harvested and, and um, machine pruned. Really? Um, like about 15 years ago, when the vine pool was going on in the Barossa, and we've been working you know cutting our vines back and I, I think from about um, 02 like we, we basically from 96 on we started go, we went back to hand pruning and hand picking um, and around about 02 we st I, I think the vines started to hit about the, the cropping levels and getting the balance that I wanted and the consistency from one year to the next but I think with Ruslan it's been a continual improvement from one vintage to the next yeah. Very much so because, well, A, I learnt um, at Rockford how to make wine and I didn't go to uni, so it was a, a, le a, a dramatic learning curve in the winery for me. Mm. Um, and also the vines were getting pruned back and, and getting better balanced every year. So mm. it's, been a, it's been a great, great build up to, to sort of the, these vintages, the 04 and 05. For those not familiar with Rockford, uh, it's, it's one of the great Barossa wine institutes. Well, not just Barossa, Australia. Uh, it's, it's one of the greatest wineries in Australia, and the, the um, parade of fantastic winemakers that have made their way through the doors making Robert O'Callaghan's wine is, is, is renowned, basically. Well, yeah, most of us never went to university. We, we learnt at Rock, for, or at the School of Rock, we call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which is... Cold beer, hard work. Which is a bit too sure. cool for us Barossa boys, but anyway, <laughs> sounds good. Anyway. All right, well, here's, here's a wacky one. Uh, Zinfandel. Zinfandel. So this is 100% Zin? 100% Zin, oldest Zinfandel vines in Australia. 100% um, new oak, really low yielding. What, what makes the Zinfandel so different um, from, uh, say, Californian Zinfandel is like, we don't do um, berry sorting and, and bunch sorting. We crush the whole bunch in, so you get, um, you get a big, you get like, from the center of the bunch you get that awesome racy, sexy fruit. Um, you get the bracing acidity from the little green berries sort of on the rabbit ears. Yep. And then you get about a third of the bunch at the bottom which raisins up naturally on the vine um, which gives it that big black black underbelly. So yeah, call it the, the red belly black snake. <laughs> <laughs> Are those poisonous? They're very poisonous. Very poisonous. Yeah, we shoot them. You know, as soon as you see one, you shoot it. That's for sure. <laughs> 
the wine's not poisonous unless you drink too much. The, uh, it's one of the best Zins. Well, it's the best Zin made in Australia. And this wine bumps heads with the greatest Zins made in California, for sure. We've done numerous blind tastings and done them everywhere. In fact, the matter is the, the Chook Shed uh, comes out on top just about every time, I think. It has, it has for me, too, on all the tastings I've done, so. Smart wine, Mr. Knut, smart wine. Thanks for your, your time. Brilliant range, brilliant range. So um, thanks for dropping by. Cool, right. pleasure. That's it. Cheers.